Good morning, welcome along to episode number 132, I do believe, of Elliot Sessor's Rising Star Snooker 19 career mode. And we're here for the first session of the quarterfinal of the Betfred World Championship. Today's match is going to be against the world number 12, Stuart Baldrun Bingham. And this, I have a feeling, is going to be a very close match. It, but matches between Elliot and Stuart have been very close in the past. And uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all if they were closer still uh, as the season goes on. Because, uh, like I said, we've upped difficulty. We've upped uh, literally everything. So, the introductions have been done by the MC Rob Walker. The boys are ready to get to playing. Let's get the boys on the bays. And let's see if Elliot can uh, establish some dominance in the first session of this uh, match. Well, we're getting to the business end of this event now. It's time for the quarterfinals. And there have been a few shocks along the way, but these eight players deserve their place. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, Elliot Slesser to break. So here we go in the next round then. Elliot Slesser to break off in the first frame. Against Stuart Bullrun Bingham. And there is the break off. Interesting. Now I tell you what, is that top red potable? If that top red's potable, he's been left a chance here, and I think it is potable. Now the only question is, which red, He'll which colour is he going to end up power. on after he screws this in? And the answer to that, that question really is none of them at all. That Go was on. a mistake. Nominate your colour. I don't know which one to go for. Well, we got to go up to bulk, so uh, I assume we're going to choose a bulk colour here. Maybe, uh, maybe the brown. No, he's gone for the green. Okay, that's an interesting one. Yeah, you can't get that way. You can only go this way. I think you're starting to realise you shouldn't have took the green here. You should have took, uh, should have took the brown. I think he's going to be closer to the brown with this shot than uh, than the green. This shot depends on perfect pace. He'll be conscious of not under-hitting the cue ball here. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, that is close. That is close. But hasn't really worked out. He had somehow nudged that green. Foul and a miss. That would Elliot have been... Slesser, one. Stuart Bingham. We'd have been Ball. talking about that shot for ages, and Stuart misses an absolute howler. A howitzer. So, Elliot back in the table. It's going to screw up towards the blue here. That didn't go nearly as far as I One. thought it would. At least although so we see the pinks available. So this yellow is going to stun this yellow and be on the uh, red well, in the bottle again. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. What a top right across the face of the brown. Three. And now he's going to come off one cushion, be on one of these bulk colours again. I presume Four. it's going to be the... Uh, no, he's actually looking at this pink here. Now, my question is, which red do you going for? Just wanted to sink for? this into the left corner pocket. Great shot. Is there a Great red at the there. bottom of this pack which pots? Ten. There is. Now... The only problem I've got with this shot, and this is the only problem I've got with it, I don't think he can get on pink and black, and this is why he might be taking this red at the top of the t pack instead to get himself onto the blue. He's going for the left corner pocket. And it go, almost shot. didn't go in there. That's a wonderful, wonderful <clears throat> pot. Just about wiped its feet. 11. <laughs> He's 
Going for the green here. That must mean that uh, he's having issue trying to get on the next red. Gonna play this as a deep stun. Nicely positioned for the red. Fourteen. Now, what's he looking at? I don't know what he was looking at there, but uh, he's going to pop this red into the middle pocket. And be on the blue again. Fifteen. Lovely stun run through on the blue. And now the Nicely blue's gone played. on the pink spot, so this makes it 20. a little bit more difficult. But luckily, this red in the natural angle will put that blue back on its spot once uh, it pots. But he's got to get on the blue first. 21. And he is on the blue. Now, where's the next red coming from? Questions, questions. He's only got a very... You see, look, look at this gap he's got to play in here. This is a very tiny gap. If he gets on it in that gap, he's brilliant. But uh, if he doesn't get in this gap, it's in the break. And I think he's got in that gap. How did you Nicely manage that? Played onto a red. That gap was probably about as big 26. as a Nat's backside. And he managed to swing that cue ball into that gap. It's incredible. So stuns up towards the blue. We may have run a bit too far for the blue, so it may be a bulk colour coming up. 27. Probably the yellow. The ever-reliable yellow. Now, he's going to screw this back with plenty of action. And he's looking at this red at the bottom of the pack, although that might be a bit pacey. That might be a bit pacey. 29. He's still on it, don't get me wrong, he's still on it, but very pacey that, so he's going to have to play this a different way. And he's going to, I think he's going to try and split them up and get out towards the blue here. Well, that was the intention, but I think that, that red was in the way. That he would have wanted. 30. This yellow is uh, definitely missable. Well, it's not missable, but uh, position on the red's not guaranteed. That's why he may be looking at this brown instead. If he can get somewhere in the middle of the table, he might He's look at that uh, red on the side the cushion. Corner pocket. Uh, that's a top shot. Somewhere Great like technique. that. Superb queuing. 34. Now the only problem that you've got here no and this is the here. only problem that you've got is what colour he's going to be on and that's why I think he's looking 35. at this blue but then this blue brings with it another problem what red are you on? This requires a really good strike. And the way he's playing this, he may be taking this red into the top corner. 40. Now, I don't... I don't disagree with this shot, but... I don't know. I, I probably would have played uh, something else here. He's taking the red on. If it goes in... Which it oh, does. Right out of the top draw... He'll be very happy with the, the question then here. becomes, what red do you play 41. for? And he's coming down to have a look at this red on the bottom cushion. And believe it or not, guys. Wow, does that pot? It certainly pots into the other corner, but oh my god. You wouldn't want this red, would you? Who, who wants this red? I 
I don't think anybody wants this red. He is on it. 46. But that's not the question here. The question is, does it pot? It's tight. Looking to run this it's along the cushion. It's tight. It's in. Now, what if he's on the it? pink, this would be the perfect chance to get these two reds split open. Just give him a little now, boop. Can he drop this into the right corner? Like that. Boop. Oh, and there's a red going up the table. What Remind me what Elliot's speciality shots are recently. Oh, that's right. Long reds <laughs> into a top corner. So this means Elliot's going to win this, this uh, frame here. This red's frame ball. What a beauty. Position looks pretty good to me. And the pink will probably make sure of it 54. unless he goes with the blue. Because the blue is a practically similar shot to the red he's just uh, potted. 54, 55, 51 the difference, sorry. So actually he needs this blue. To uh, absolutely make sure of it. Requiring snookers. In it goes. That's a great. And point. then this red doubly makes that sure. Be it. No real way for his opponent to win the frame now. Don't you like Enough. doubly making sure of things? How are you going to get on this? These last two reds. It's probably going to be off this pink. Sixty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, look, he's got a nice angle. If he boops them again. That That's was a an nice booping, but unfortunately it looks... Oh, boy. It looks like they've gone uh, right next to each other. See if they go in. If they don't go in, I'm pretty sure uh, Stuart will concede. No, they didn't go in. Uh, but that should be, folks, the first frame Elliot Slesser, to Elliot Slesser. And it is... Frame. So, he's opened up a one-frame gap and will be looking to apply some pressure on his opponent in this frame. Uh, see what Elliot really get the uh, does here as uh, well. Stuart played an awful match. shot there, and I mean Thank truly awful. Frame. Stuart Bingham to break. He's left an opening red into the middle pocket. He should get down on the black here. He should. He should. He should. It's not hard One. enough. Ah, oh, it's not hard enough. He's got to take a yellow on here to get back uh, in position. Although to be fair to him, these yellows have been uh, they've been very fortunate uh, for him He's in uh, recent times. That's really close. But not so not much quite this time. <laughs> oh, dear me. Famous last words by this Elliot commentator. Slicer. One. So let's see um, if Stuart can recover from that awful break-off shot he gave and uh, put himself back one around uh, around the right place, as they say. In goes the Six. blue. The first four reds and blacks, possibly the first five, I would say, are nice and easy. But then after that, he's got to somehow get this pack open. And the key is going to be getting... You see that red that's right on the black spot? Seven. Oh, there's an awful shot there from Stuart. He's played the green here Stuart and he's got Bingham, a snooker. Seven. Well. Who, who would have thought he got a snooker here? Now, he needs to play this uh, at the right pace, does uh, Elliot. If he doesn't, he's leaving He'll be looking at Buddy the Boy in here. here. A free, wide-open table. That's wider the mark. A little less side, I'm and he'd sure have probably there, played that to perfection. Shot. Foul and a miss. Stuart Bingham, four. One. So now Stuart's going to try and uh, get this table a little less deorganised. 
And look at this, he's played it perfect. Nine. Although, watch your next red come. Oh, well, he's uh, gone for a split 14. there. He's got a few more reds out in the open. Fifteen. Twenty. In that goes. Lovely uh, long red at distance there for uh, Stuart. Another lovely shot 26. as well. He's uh, really split this pack wide open. Twenty-seven. Give him credit. He's coming back. 32. I think this could uh, finish nicely poised at 2-1 going into the... Uh, 33. Next session. 38. I hope it doesn't. 39. In goes another red. 39. And what makes this uh, even better? 44. For um, Stuart here. He's doing this without the use of the black. 45. 50. He's only using 51. the blue, and I, I can respect this. 56. I mean, he's won the frame, which is fair play. 57. It's going to take a pink now. Oh, wow, pink into the top 63. corner. Did not see that coming. 64. He's really on fire here, is Stuart. Misses the blue. Stuart Doesn't Bingham. matter. 64. We'll uh, concede the frame here. And that's uh, going to be 1-1, one, one, folks. Frame. Well, this is developing into a very tight match. Both players refusing to give any ground here. I think, uh, yes, I think in the really balance close. of things, this no frame is going to be pivotal to this, uh, to this match. And if uh, Elliot's left that, that's risky. Oh, but Stuart's missed it. Right, it's very simple here. I think uh, Elliot's got to play some side of containing safety to stay on this side of the pack. Oh, that's touching, touching ball. ball. That's a fine one. And uh, Bull Run here is thinking the exact same thing. That's going to free a few more reds up. Touching, Touching ball. ball. Oh, he, I thought that he'd left that bot. Did you see that red that's at the bottom of the packet? I thought he left that. Who else thought he left that? Back in the pack. Touching, Touching ball, ball again. And sooner or later, I think this red's going to be worth having a poke at. Because it looks on. But then Got again, Stuart wouldn't be playing out if he thought it was on. It's a bit like that red that's um, just been brought out there. I don't think that red's on. I mean, it could be, but uh, I don't think it is. We're getting a nice little safety battle here. Who Who is going to blink first, as they say? Somebody will blink first, and when they do, and I think it's Stuart. No, he's uh, he's played that perfectly there. It's 
he's played that uh, very, very perfectly. So let, this safety battle is really... <coughs> Excuse me. He won't want to underhit this shot. It's really getting there. And there's a touching, touching ball. ball. This might be the end of the safety battle. No. <coughs> Stuart is not wanting to go up the table because if he does, he sees that red he's leaving. But he's not wanting to play away from the pack either. Touching Another ball. touching ball here for Elliot. Well, I'll tell you, what, has he left this bottom red? He has. It's not pretty. Not pretty in the slightest. But he may be forced into playing this. <clears throat> it's a case of what do you do? Do you play it or do you not play it? You, you can see how undecided he is here. He is very undecided about how to play this uh, shot. And the truth be told is, I'd be uh, undecided about it as well. If he doesn't want to leave it, he's got to play... ...something so that he doesn't leave it. Which is why I think he's going to look at... This uh, this red here Pace is very important here, and he doesn't want to underhit this. I think he's okay there. Well, no, he's not. He he left one. that one. What are you doing? Three, four. What was he doing playing that? I didn't think uh, he Nine. left that. If we're being uh, completely Ten. honest. Stuart Bingham. Ten. But he's played a stinker there. Now if Elliot can pop this into the middle pocket, that might give him some momentum. He's tempted by this red. Well, that's just outstanding. Superb pop. One. A good pot into the middle pocket. Now the only problem is he's not left himself on anything, so he's got to put, play a bulk colour, and he's going to the ever faithful green. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. The question becomes, which reds he going to play for after this? And it looks like it's going to be this red on the side cushion here, unless, Four. unless he fancies that red over the other side of the blue. See, if it was me. I would take this on because <clears throat> if you play it right, you get on a good colour. I mean, look at that. I think he's on the blue here. Oh. I also think I'm losing my voice. Can you not hear me losing my voice? <clears throat> Which is unusual because I actually did a full recording yesterday. He's aiming for the left corner here. No issues there. Yeah, Seven. Basically, all of um, all of last week's uh, videos I did yesterday, <clears throat> and then tomorrow I do um, the green screens for these uh, these videos. So, if you actually think about it, you He's see the, left the first here. clip of this video you see was actually done after. The clip I've done today, even though I recorded Eight. the clip yesterday before this clip, if you understand what I'm saying. Now, if he plays the brown here, he's got to play this. He, this brown's got to go in because if not, look at that red over the corner pocket. Tricky he's pop, leaving it. No doubt. And we're right behind this brown, which has gone in. 
Excellent shot. Now spot. get rid of that. Uh, He'll be happy with that. Get rid of that Top red shot. and get rid of it very quickly. Well, it is a spanner in the works, and we do not need it. My only question is, oh, look at this shot. Look at this shot. He's going to play a deep screw. What's the, what's the action of the cue ball? See you later. He's past the blue. No, not bad on the yellow. If 13. he uh, if he fancies the yellow. My only concern is what uh, what colour is he going to be on? Sorry, what red he's going to be on after this? It's going to be this one on the side cushion that he turned down earlier. Packed house here at the Crucibles Theatre in Sheffield, home of the World Championships. Does that does that surprise you all? Sheffield, the the Steel City of Sheffield, it's not. He's looking a to pop this into the left corner pocket. Huge city by any stretch of the imagination. And I don't say that 16. as a knock on the people of Sheffield, because um, I visited Sheffield quite uh, quite a number of times. It's an absolutely beautiful city. A but does it surprise you that they play it. the Masters tournament in London? Tremendous shot. Yeah, played it well. But. The the 21. top prize they play not in London. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. You would have thought if they played it in Birmingham or if they played it in Manchester, you'd have got 22. away with it. But I suppose with uh, the Crucible Theatre being the, the home of uh, English snooker, or British snooker I should say, that that's why, uh, that's why it's played here. He's taking it on. What a great Great boss. yellow. Where's this cube? Oh, Excellent that might be in the break. There. Inch perfect. Unless he's on that red 24. at the bottom of the table. <whistles> yes, he is. But yeah, back to uh, back to my point. So this pot. Uh, into what the was right my corner. point? Oh yeah, that's it. Beautifully done. The, the Crucible Theatre. I've oh, never been to the shot. Crucible Theatre. I've been past the Crucible Theatre. It is a fantastic venue. It's very compact. The, the venue you're seeing on the screen is nothing He's like the real this Crucible Theatre. The right corner. As that uh, green goes in, now he may be on one of these reds to the middle pocket. Position. Oh, he's overrun the one he wants. If he can't get on that one at the bottom of the blue, that's oh he can. But this is this is tough. But yeah, the crucible theatre you're seeing on the screen is nothing like it because there's two tables He's at the start of uh, the event. It is a very that's tight, absolute, very cosy and compact tough. venue. We couldn't have played that very. Any uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Twenty nine. I can't remember what the word is I'm looking for, but um, intimate, that's uh, the word I'm looking for. Good uh, good black, he's left himself this red on the side cushion. Because the the, the people that watch these games are so close to the players, it's unbelievable. You could, if you wanted, to, you're not allowed to, but you could reach over the, the Betfred uh, banners there and touch the, the players as they're playing their shot. 37. Not that you should. Anyone that does, uh, well, quite frankly, is an idiot. So in goes the black. 44. But yeah, if, if uh, it ever does move away from the Crucible Theatre, I'd love it to go to a venue uh, like, like the Alley Pally. He's lining this one up to the middle pocket. Maybe... Uh, I tell you where it'd be a good idea for 45. it because um, I know it's a big uh, amphitheater, but um, say like the uh, the NEC at Birmingham or the uh, the National In Indoor Arena. Fifty one. That would be that would be a lovely venue in Birmingham. This red required. No issues there. So in goes that 
and that red. Now, oh, look at, look at this angle on the pink. Look at this angle on the pink. If that is not begging to be hit, I don't know what is. Play it with some uh, screw, and you'll be able to clear out this red on the uh, pink spot. 58. And he may be able to get on the uh, on the black. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. There you go. What a top pot that was. So, this would be 59. for a break of... Uh, Susis goes in 66. 66 plus 27 would make it 73. 93. If my maths is uh, perfect. And 99 times uh, out of a million, my uh, maths is not perfect. 66. So the yellow next. Only the colours remaining. This break uh, has had it all, really, hasn't it? Beautiful. Lovely stunt to get down to the green. He's having a good. Uh, he's having a good think about this green here. He shouldn't do because he's now heading into the uh, the mid session interval as. Uh, well, that green's not in. We overthought that. <laughs> but uh, we head to the mid-session interval now. And, and Elliot leads 2-1 uh, over Frame Stuart conceded. Bingham, folks. Frame. And that's where we're going to leave it, folks. Tightly poised at 2-1 again in Elliot's favour. He he just seems to know when to, uh, when to pull the right uh, moment to have his rear end. So, guys, let's get 25 likes on the video if you'd be so kind. Uh, do get subscribed if you haven't already done so for more Snooker 19. We're coming up uh, towards the end of the season now, so it's getting uh, it's getting pretty close. Uh, what else have we got? We've got uh, F1 2020. Uh, we've got Marvel Spider-Man on Saturdays, whatever games we play on Sunday. Uh, be kind to each other. Stay safe. If you can't be kind, be quiet because uh, you have no place in the world. And uh, we'll see you on Friday for the conclusion of this quarterfinal, folks. Which way is it going to end up going? Hoo-hoo! <laughs>